Hello, and welcome back to Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. So, uh, last episode, we did the Mirage Tower, and we started the Flying Fortress, which was a space station in the original But subsequent re-releases, including this Pixel Remaster, have made it just a, ca uh, a floating castle, which is disappointing and misses the whole point of why there were robots? Like, the robots were supposed to be... Like, the robots were there to foreshadow, oh hey! High is super advanced technology. As opposed to this, which is, you know, standard fantasy staple. You know, the castle, the, you know, flying castle, that is a standard, uh, standard trope in fantasy fiction. The space station was meant to be a sci fi element thrown in unexpectedly because, hey, this is just a bit. You know, this is just a normal sci-fi adventure, and then, oh, wow! Or, yeah, just a regular fantasy adventure. I mean, this is just sort of a regular fantasy adventure, and then all of a sudden, oh, wow! We got sci-fi now! So I think Square Enix made a mistake in uh, keeping this as a castle. It should be... It should be a space station. Anyway, we also got ourselves Excalibur, a sword crafted from a legendary metal effective against all types of enemies. Plus 45 attack and plus 35 accuracy. I like how White Mage still has 33% accuracy. White Mage doesn't hit. If White Mage is attacking, you're making your something as uh, weird as going on. So yeah, so we got uh, one of the game's ultimate weapons. And with all of that said, uh, I suppose we may as well continue. Stone Golem! I think we'll keep the healing helm for... Just keep using that for him. Uh, what would be useful against... You know what? Yeah, let's try this. Nice list. Alright, so those guys aren't actually all that uh, dangerous. From this observation window, you can look out on the entire world. The observation window looks out upon the world. The four forces of fire, earth, water, and wind appear as mist converging on a single point. A point at the center of the four altars. This must be the location of the Chaos Shrine. Neat! The 
that's a very cool scene. I do really like that scene. It's very cool. Um, and Chaos Shrine, we, I mean, we kind of knew where that was already. These guys... Or... Woo! Level up. Middling level for fighter. Nah, actually not a bad level for white mage. Poor level for black mage but that's to be expected. Gill, potion, gill, protect ring. Would be super useful if I hadn't already bottled, uh, bought one for everybody. Uh, also, 372,000. I don't have anything else to buy. Like even just in terms of equipment or just items, you know? I don't really have anything left, like, there's no point in buying uh, a lot more equipment, a lot more items. You know, I don't have any more need for antidotes, or... Yeah, I'm not going to need more than 50 antidotes. I already have way more antidotes than I will use for this game. Echo Grass, have I ever been silenced? Gold Needles, I mean, you know, I might still use a few, but not too many. Only things that'd be useful to buy are like X potions, dry ethers, and elixirs. You know? And I don't know that I actually can buy any of those uh, anywhere. That is like the weird thing about uh, RPGs. Early on, you are broke. You know, finding enough money to be able to do anything is tough. You know, finding enough money to buy all the stuff you need to buy is really tough. And then it hits a point. Yeah, you know, usually like middle game, maybe two thirds of the way through the game. And you have everything you owe. Like you're just, you have to have no more need for money. Uh, Lazara, there we go. That was hilariously easy. Uh, Thief! Yeah, pretty weak level for Thief. Stone Golem! Yeah. Yeah, my fighters took those guys out real fast. That is actually where I need to go. I shouldn't have come this way just yet, but... Ooh, fire, I just ran to strike again. Gold Needle, Gil, Gil, Sasuke's Blade. Actually, can he use it? Yeah, so. He is not actually able to equip it. I wasn't completely sure if he could. Attack 33, accuracy 35. Small katana used by ninjas. By ninja. So it doesn't have the, uh, the effectiveness against the undead, but don't encounter all that many undead. And this one's just, you know, slightly stronger. Manticores! Man, Manticores go down to a Blizzard, one of the default Blizzards from the uh, items. Uh, there is nothing to the south. There is nothing down. Chimeras! I don't know, I just find Chimeras have a cool look, you know? For as long as they last. Gil? 
Protect Cloak, Gill, Gold Needle, Dark Fighters. Yeah, I got nothing dangerous. There's nothing dangerous left to me here. his defense. Sweet Mage has lower defense, but way more HP. Almost, yeah, actually more than double. Uh, White Mage has double Black Mage's HP. So honestly, I'm gonna give him the, the cloak. I'd love to give White Mage uh, more defense as well, but honestly, of the four, even with Black Mage having significantly lower defense, or even with White Mage having significantly lower defense than Black Mage, Black Mage is still the most likely to die just because of how low his health is. Hey, 420. And it is just... I didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. There's nothing actually down there. Medusa and Rakshasa. Pretty sure I've killed them. But and yeah, they pose no threat at all, honestly. Ooh, Kiraja. One hit from, yeah. There's no treasures down here, but I do want to check just... What this room looks like. Analyzing Tia. Uh, no known weakness. Well, that's not... That's inconvenient. Anything in this room? Same message. Alright, so. No known weakness. What no known weakness really means is, uh. Eh, it's a little damage, it's hilarious. What no known weakness really means is. Use my cheats. Use the cheap strategy. Just magic up your fighters with all your uh, support magic, and then hit Tiamat until she stops moving. Woo! Okay. 
Dang, heavy hit. Still far from the most dangerous enemy. So yeah, this room, uh, basically just loops around. So. You can walk in any given direction pretty much, uh, forever. And it'll just keep looping back around. So you go down to, or up to, uh... It's basically a 4x4 four four grid. So you can go up or down to, and then left or right to squares. And you'll find that! Vampire lore! Not that, uh... Nice try, dude. It was a nice try. Alright, and with that, um... There's nothing else to actually find on this, uh, floor. So, this floor, once again, nothing to actually find. That said, um, I'm doing a quick save just in case I come across uh, an enemy that I'm kind of hoping to come across. If I do come across it, there's a chance that I might die. There is a 1 in 64 chance of encountering the enemy. This is not the enemy. Over 800 health for each per fighter now. Nice. Strength of four. Cool. Weight mage. Ooh, weight mage just shy of 700 HP. Nice, nice, nice. Black mage. Still not getting any increases to health. I'm gonna see if I, I'm gonna try a little bit just to see if I can find that enemy. Uh, I'm kind of not really expecting to find it, to be honest. Uh, if I do find it, I will show it. Oh, but first, here was Beef's uh, level. Nothing special. So yeah, if I can encounter the enemy, great. Um, I'll just take a quick couple quick walks up and down the bridge just to see if I can encounter it. Uh, if not, I'll see, I'll see you either when I fight the enemy or when I get to uh, when I decide that I'm tired of looking. So, see you in a moment. Alright, I spent a few minutes trying I spent a few minutes uh, going up and down. Um, the odds of finding it are pretty low. Uh, so, I'm not going to try anymore. Uh, War Mech. Also sometimes called the Death Machine. Uh, it is considered... So, War Mech is... a secret boss. Uh, 
so it's not it's most in most games secret bosses are found through like a specific uh sequence you need to do you know you need to go to this location and bring this item and yada 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 there's specific steps to follow to find see the secret boss uh with warmech it's just random chance um So, Warmech is kind of a beast. Uh, it is the strongest enemy in the game. That includes bosses. It's stronger than any of the boss than any of the regular bosses, uh, Tiamat included. Uh, no weaknesses. Really strong attacks. Uh, heals itself every turn. 100 HP uh, heal every turn. And it has uh, an attack called Nuke. That does uh, really heavy damage to the entire party. You do get a huge amount of experience and heal. But, yeah, War Mech is a monster. Uh, that said, not able to find it. I may try to come back later. I don't know. We shall see. But for now, the last fiend, the Lich, Merlith, the Kraken. You have defeated three fiends and reached my lofty perch. All the better. May the image of Tiamat, the fiend of wind, be the last to burn in your eyes. Dragon Tiamat. She cool. She's cool. I like her. Um, so... Let's see, what are the best things to use? I think Null Shock is actually useful here. Poison gas. Dang it. Oh, well, it actually doesn't. What? I did not even know that that could fail. Uh, see, so he's got. Let's do one more saber on him. And a haste. Cast Proterra. Temper.
So yeah, he's got some... Yeah, she's got some pretty heavy attacks. That should help with the physical. He's ready to start attacking. Uh, he needs Saber. Right, Hilar is my Can I do that one again? Uh, let's see. Break has a chance of working. It is a very low chance of working. I think I've got... Yeah, I think I've got everything I need there. Alright. Um... Anything else I should try to use here? Probably not. So let's just hit her with a flare. 1600. So she's just about dead. He's hurting. Uh... Yeah, I shouldn't have bothered with uh, Saber then, did it? I didn't realize that it only uh, affects the... Uh... Like, when I bought, when I first bought it, I didn't realize it only affected the caster's attack and accuracy. Pretty useless for a Black Mage, because they don't really attack. just hilarious how much damage you do with Temper Saber Haste. It is just absurd. It is an entirely... Because that should be a tough fight. Tiamat should be genuinely a really tough fight. But that combination of spells, of buffs, it's just genuinely, hilariously broken. Alright, so not much for Fighter, but it's fine. Not much for Thief. Ugh. Over 700 HP for White Mage. Nice, nice. And it'll like to work. At least, at least he got in the lot. Caress achievement for that. This is the altar of wind from which the power of wind flows forth. So that's all four crystals lit up. So 
So that should be it, right? That should be they saved. We've Yes. Of course the day's not saved. We've defeated the four fiends. As a Beretta. These guys can hit pretty hard, actually. If they get a chance to go. Alright, so I actually didn't hit very hard against. You're surprisingly weak against the uh, Black Mage. So, first things first. Health is low. So let us have a quick heal. One of the nice things about the airship is, uh, yeah, you kind of never really need to worry about pretty much anything. You, you pretty much never need to worry about... Yeah. About tents and stuff. <laughs> I'm looking at. Like, I am using a, uh, a guide. And it mentions, uh, you know, sort of optimal leveling, optimal levels. And, uh, It mentions that if, uh, being, you know, having your levels, you know, low 30s, uh, will give you a, you know, fairly balanced experience with the final dungeon. Uh, being in the high 30s is, uh, you know, very surefire way, you know, very sure that you are going to succeed. Mid 40s. I'm pretty sure I've been over leveled the entire game, and that's not even from trying. You know, I did like a little bit of grinding early on, like before I went to face Garl. I haven't done any actual grinding. It's just. I suppose, like, you know. Oh, let me go back to town real quick. Before, you know, like do one floor of a dungeon and then, oh, let me go back to town real quick. I suppose I've done like, like some incidental grinding like that, but even so. I am Lukong. Same thing. Four forces gather in the Chaos Room, the geographic center of the Four Altars. With the forces again flowing freely, the time to go to the Chaos Shrine and strike at the Root of Darkness has come. The four crystals shine once again! The combined power of that light is the only means of breaking through the Wall of Time. The architect of this disaster is beyond that wall. Two thousand years in the past. Yeah, we gotta do time travel now, apparently. 
You would have no memory of this, but before you wandered into this land, time flowed properly for you. But that flow of time has become warped for you now in this time. Eh? What's that supposed to mean? The chain of time has become looped back upon itself. You must travel back in time to the link in that chain that gave birth to the Cycle of Wrath, and destroy it! So we are apparently stuck in a time loop. The sequence of disasters that began 400 years ago. It was triggered by events that happened only a scant few days in our past. But whoever set this in motion has now fled 2,000 years into the past. I see time spiraling. Whatever went back 2,000 years in the past has brought the world to the brink of destruction. And now, 2,000 years later, it travels into the past again. A cycle of wrath without end. An ever-repeating 2,000-year cycle, the warped destiny that gives birth and the rebirth to wrath. But it's no more than an illusion. A fantasy, and only the warriors of light can break the cycle. Bring the light of the four crystals to us. Warriors of light, only you can do this. Power must be directed towards its proper end. travel. And a time loop at that. sure if I'd be finding any more uh, anything in the final temple. Not really so. Sure, why not? I have absolutely no use for them, but get it to an even 25. Get it to an even 10. This is literally just to have even numbers. The sleeping bag's 10, that's literally just to get it even numbers. And... 
don't think there's anything else actually to buy. I don't think there's anything... I don't think anyone has anything to say. For some reason I thought there was another uh, sword you could buy in Alfheim. I might be wrong, though. It might be that it's not in this version of the game. Might be a different version. Has, uh, has I think there's supposed to be like a uh, mithril sword. Would be far, far out paced by now, anyway. Um. So we saw on the map that all the stuff converges here. Before I do, though, I just want to... What do you got to say, lady? I don't know what else to tell you. I bet we have that dance. What do you say? Uh, if only we were allowed. Remember the kind of wishes that, like... I suppose early enough in the franchise, early enough in the whole concept of RPGs, that, like, having new uh, weapons become available right at the end, not something that they really have uh, come up with yet. And yeah, same thing with, uh, I guess, with changing characters' dialogue after certain events. ready as we ever... We're about as ready as we, uh, will be. Never did show off some of the spells. Slow. Sleep. Break. I don't think I'll bother slowing that up. Showing that off. few enemies that I never found. I don't... I pro... Yeah, I don't think I'll bother going back and finding these enemies. Finding the enemies I missed. It doesn't really feel worthwhile. The one I missed here, number 73, is something called a Romoraz. And then 118, I already mentioned War Mech. Screw that guy. Screw that thing. And these last ones I will encounter in the place that I am about to go to.
So. We are just about done the game. Just one last dungeon to get through. One final boss to the beat. We will do that in the next episode. So, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>